Hey, what's going on guys? It is just so, so great to be back here, back here today to make another video with you guys. But before we get started, I just really have to, I really need to explain to you why I haven't uploaded in the last two weeks. Why am I gonna give an explanation for that? Because I'll tell you why, because I had so many people emailed and messaged me to see if I was okay, to see if I was even alive uh, in the last week, because I normally upload every three or four days. Uh, so I wanted to give you an explanation real quick of what, what even happened and why I didn't upload for two weeks. So it all started like right around a couple days after my last video that I uploaded. So I uploaded the video, everything was good. I was going about my business and just doing my thing like I always do, up and out and at it. And it was one, it was like two or three o'clock in the afternoon and I, I just started to, I st first I started to sweat, then I started to get dizzy, then my heart started pounding like through my chest and I just, I thought I was gonna die, that's like, I literally, I literally thought I was gonna either have a heart attack and die. So instead of going to the hospital, I drove home, which I barely made it home. And I jumped right in bed and I laid there for like five or six hours. And at that point I was like, all right, this is just not getting better. There's something seriously wrong with me. So I jumped up and I went and, and I got checked and I had food poisoning. And that's like, that's where I have not, that's why I haven't been here in two weeks because I had food poisoning real bad. Um, and I had to f I just wanted to fully recover from that because it scared me it actually scared me and I just have to say this like Something small well, that's not really something like that happens in your life and When I was like laying there for the, all those hours not knowing what was going on with me You know me everybody's different But I started thinking about like all the little things in life like just the, the ability to wake up in the morning people take that for granted the fact that you can breathe. I'm standing here and I'm breathing and I'm talking to you. So many people take that for granted. Um, just all the little things in life that people just should be happy about, but they're not happy about it, you know, or they expect it. And I just want to say this, if you woke up today and you're watching this video, definitely be happy because that alone right there is just such a reason to be happy. There's so many other things that I could talk about right now. I'm not going to get into it because I want to get started for you guys on this, on this video, this painting but definitely try to look at the bright side of things. Things can be so much worse, if, you know, they could just be horrible, but you woke up today, you're breathing, you're obviously on YouTube, you're watching me right now, so just kind of crack a smile and, and go get your stuff ready and, you know, and we can make something. So I just wanted to say that to everybody because I appreciate, I've always appreciated the little things, but, but I appreciate them so much more now uh, because literally a couple weeks ago, I like thought I was on my way out and I was, I was just so nervous because I didn't even have a backlog of videos for you guys, like something to keep you going for like a few months. So so now I'm gonna start working on that. I'm gonna get me a nice little backlog. So in case I get food poisoning again and it, and it makes me keel over, you know, at least you guys have something something to watch. No, I'm just kidding, I'm not going anywhere. So, so here's what we're gonna do. Today, we're gonna do something just a little bit more easy than the last paintings that we've been doing. We're just gonna use like two colors, so. Why don't you get all your stuff ready? I'm gonna get my stuff ready. We'll go on inside and we're gonna head and, uh, yeah, we're just gonna get started. So great to see you guys. I'm so happy that I can be here today to talk, to breathe, and to show you guys another tutorial. See you in a few seconds. All right, so so we made it back inside and I'm just gonna give you a quick like description on what we're doing here today. This is not a canvas back here. This is actually, it's just a piece of wood, like a piece of, uh, like a piece of birch wood or something like that. I picked it up at, uh, where did I pick it up at? I think it was like Michael's or like uh, Hobby Lobby or AC Moore. It was one of those stores. I picked it up a while back, it's just been sitting around. Actually, let me just show you. This is another one right here. This is just like a little, yeah, it's just a board is what it is. So I put black gesso on this thing first. And uh, yeah, black gesso, I put it on there, let it dry. And then I just covered, uh, I put like a phthalo green color over top. Because what I wanted to do is I wanted to paint the Northern Lights. I did a video a while back. I wasn't happy with the video, so I took it down. But uh, so we're gonna do just a real simple version of the Northern Lights. Uh, there's two colors we're using, well three. I have white, I have black, and I have a little bit of the phthalo green. So. So yeah, so let's go ahead and get started on this. This is gonna be a quick video, but it's something that definitely, if you can do my other tutorials and follow along, you should definitely be able to follow along with this. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I didn't put any kind of medium on here, nothing. I just have a little bit of this, uh, this phthalo green color right here. And I just spread it around, like, you know, pretty carefully and easily. Just you know, real thin coat. There's not a whole lot of paint on here. 
But down here, we'll probably have some water and stuff. And up here is going to be the sky. We'll put a little mountain or something right there. All right. and, and the board is definitely like sucking some of this color in. So if you put this paint on this or a piece of wood, it's going gonna, it's gonna to absorb it pretty quickly. So let me just grab these paper towels. I'm just going to take this. I'm going to wipe off this one inch brush that we got using right here. And then I'm going to just take straight white and I'm going to put in just a little light area for like a sky type area. So I'm just going to get the tiniest bit of white because it's going to, it's going to really pop off because of the, uh, you know, the dark color on the canvas. So you can always add more later. All right. So I think right about here, put a little bit of that color in. It's just pure white. It looks green, but it's because it's mixing with the color. So I'm going to get some more white. Put it right about there. And I'm going to wipe this off, actually. And I'm going to come right back up here, and I'll just kind of smooth it out. Just a little bit like that. Ooh, a nice little green color right there. And then before I go too much further, I'm just going to grab, um, let me see here, what do I want? I'm just going to get a filbert brush, and I'm going to take some pure white, and I'm going to get that on this filbert here. And I'm going to make some little lines and stuff like that. And I'll show you what that's all about here in a minute. White filbert brush. And uh, maybe just go put one there like that. You know, throw another one over here somewhere like that. Just going to bring this down. And then maybe we'll just put one that goes like this, a little bit lighter. All right, let me set that down. I might be able to use this one inch brush. Now this should work okay on wood, hopefully. So I'm gonna come in here real quick. I'm gonna swirl the bottom of this up like that. Get a little bit more light right there. Wipe it back off. And I'm gonna just try to lift up. So I'm just gonna lift. And you just keep, just lift up until you, you know, until you feel good about it. That's all I'm doing, just lifting up. All right, now we can actually get a little bit more white, and I want to put a little bit more white right there. I'm just actually going to tap it in. Go like that, swirl it around, wipe this off again. And then I'm just going to pull up and just kind of give it like a cool little something going on here. And you can come in here if you want. You can even, you can go like this. If you know what, as a matter of fact, if you want, you can go this way, look. It'll distort the back a little bit more. See that? But if you don't want to do that, you can just put your color in and, and kind of go from there. I want to mix it up a little bit to make it look just a little bit more like mysterious looking in the background. So watch, now the whole sky is green. <laughs> All right, so I'm not going to do three. I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to go, I just want to make it look a little bit more like that. Another one there. This is different than canvas for sure. So just keep that in mind. This is much different than canvas. Canvas, it, it seems to stick much better. And when I say stick better, I'm talking about the, the paint that you put on. All right, so this is just going to give us a little, like I said earlier, just a little bit of a background. So I just made it a little bit more bright is, is essentially what I just did. All right, I'm not going to go too crazy with that. Let me just go over here, smooth this out real quick. It's nice and dark over here. All right, let me go back and forth like that. All right. All right, let me put that down for a second. Right, I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab the knife and I'm gonna take some black so I want to put a little mountain in here so I'm just gonna use a uh, straight black straight black paint and I gotta make sure that I make this 
nice and small because it is a smaller it's a smaller canvas or board than what I'm used to using. Put another little thing right there. And this is just something that's you know hopefully will help you you know just get back into the swing of of things. I know that like if I take a little break I always like to do something not super complicated and then I just kind of work my way back into it so and this should be you know a style that everybody is like familiar with nice and easy and relaxed just I'm just gonna pull some of this color down leave some of that green in there like that smooth this out down here there's still some of that green in there which will which will act, you know make it look nice all right so we got our background we got our little you know base of our mountain in there all right and now I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab some white there's a little bit of green in there but that's cool because you're gonna have green you don't want pure pure white right away it's going to be reflecting off of the sky, so you want to have some color in there. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this in there with the knife. Just a little bit coming down. A little bit of stuff happening. And this is just so basic and so easy. Just hopefully you guys, you know, follow along and, and just, you know, hopefully you find some enjoyment in this. Put a little bit back here too, maybe. That's far away. All right, I'm gonna wipe that off. Now, I'm gonna take a little bit of black. I'm gonna make a gray. So I'm gonna take some white and I'm gonna mix that in with my black. There's, there's a tiny bit of green on there too, which is totally fine. I just wanna make like a shadow type color right now. All right, so let's see how this works. Let's see here, I'll start here. Not bad. Put some of this right up there. I'm just carefully, you know, touching some of this and I can destroy what I don't want on the bottom. If I think it's too much, I'll just take it right out. Put some there, I need a little bit of lighter color to put up here. Maybe it's something in the distance back there. Okay, put some of that color there. So just black and white. And there's a little bit of green in there for the shadow color. All right. Okay, so there we have that, a standard, basic, simple, easy type mountain that I know each and every one of you guys have done before, so I know you can do it now. Okay, let's go in here real quick, and I'm just going to, what do I want to do? I'm just going to softly soften some of this bottom up here, just real carefully, just distort it a little bit. These are always like the fun little ones that, you know, that it's, I think it's important to do these every so often because it just helps you keep your sanity. You know what I mean? I just keep wiping this off. So now I'm going to, I'm just going to smooth everything out here, make it look nice and uh, soft. Okay. Let me just step back a hair. All right, so there's that. So let's just put, yeah, I'm gonna make a little bit of water. So I'm gonna take the same old dirty thing I've been using this one inch, and I'm gonna grab the white paint. Oop, I got paint all over me, hold on. And I'm just gonna put some of this color down in here so we can make some of our little, you know, water or whatever we're gonna have here. And I've only painted the, uh, the Northern Lights, I think, one other time. So I thought it would be fun. I thought it'd be fun to do it and just give it a, give it a try. I'm going to distort this, 
right here. Come back in with a little bit more white if you want, and you can just drop it right there. Just to, you know, give it a little highlight. Okay. All right, so there's that right there. So let me just uh, rip this paper towel. I think, you know what? I think we might as well just keep using this one inch brush since it seems to be doing just fine. So I'm gonna grab some black and I'm gonna put just a little bit of dark color in here. Maybe there's like, you know, little trees and stuff back here. So we'll do that right now. We're gonna go right here. I'm just gonna like plop some of this stuff in go right across like that and like I said I keep saying it this is something this is like one of them ones where it's just just so simple just trying to get back into the swing of everything if you guys want um, something a little bit more in depth I have plenty of other videos that well, not plenty but I have some so I'm just gonna keep doing this and I'm gonna go right into here like this tap in some of this because it's black by the way bring it down like that and I think I want it to go off like that so I'm just dropping this color in and then right off the edge boom I'm gonna go right to the other side this is sort of the same thing I do in other paintings too I kind of block in my area where I know I'm gonna have some land and I go right across with it bam done see putting in the dark color just like that I'm gonna wipe this off real quick and let me just pull some of this stuff down here smooth that out you could always put land back in here if you want all right Okay. All right, so now I think I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take like a light color, just like a green and white. That's the only other color we have really. So a little bit of green, a little bit of white. And I'm gonna come right back here and I think I'll put just a few little, little things back here, see? Like there's like some reflection, not reflection. It's hitting the top of these uh, little areas here, just in a few spots. See that, like little hills or or whatever is back there. And I'm gonna go right back into that. Same old color, green. And I'm gonna come in here. And I'm just gonna tap in a few little, little highlights and stuff just to help us figure out, you know, where like the land is and all that. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope everybody's doing good. I have a lot of stuff uh, planned. A lot of stuff coming. All right, let me just step back. For all you guys out there that paint and do different things and do art, you have to, you have to literally step back sometimes and reset yourself and do things that are simple you know basic stuff you have to do it and if you don't do it you're gonna ha you know you'll have trouble you'll struggle you have to do stuff that you enjoy doing all the time you know so if you're doing hard paintings for months and months and months that are hard reset yourself you know reset or you know what I'm trying to say I'm trying to say take a step back and and start over with the basics go back to the basics and and uh, it'll really help you all right I'm gonna set that down real quick and I think I'm just gonna grab yeah I'm just gonna get a fan brush and I'm gonna take straight black and I'm gonna throw some trees in here straight black and I'll probably I'll just start right here. I'm just going to go like that. 
come up in here. I want you know make them nice and dark. And I, I think this is the first. I, th uh, I, I may be wrong. I have to think about it. I think this is the first time I ever worked with like uh, wood. I don't think I've ever painted on wood before. I'm not sure. All right, so put a tree there. And right off the edge there. Make it look like they're growing together. And then I'll put a couple little ones back here, I guess, too. It's going to mix with the color on this mountain. It's going to make them nice and light like that. I'm just throwing stuff in here. It'll all be like little illusions and stuff like that. I just wanted to do something. I just wanted to do something that, you know, that relaxed myself. It was, it was a rough week the other week. It really was. I didn't know what was going on. I'm going to put some dark color back in here real quick. Just using the fan brush. I like playing around with colors that I normally don't use. Okay. All right, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I guess I'm going to use black. I didn't put, I didn't use any, I bring any brown. I didn't put any brown out, but I wanted to, I really wanted to make like a tree up in the front here. And I'm not, I'm not going to get brown, but I'm just going to put something right here. Maybe it's just in the dark. That's what I'm gonna do. It's nighttime, anyways. So there's something there in the dark, you know. It's you know you guys know that it's there. So a little branches on it. Stuff like that. A little bit more dark here, a little bit there. Let me do this. I'm going to get some more green. I'm going to take the one inch. Green and white. I'm just going to put a few little, little things in there. I don't know what they are. A little light color, I guess. Maybe there's a few little leaves right there. Little nighttime things. <laughs> that wasn't, I didn't plan that. I didn't think there was going to be anything. <laughs> and all right, let me set that real quick. Let me do this. I got to get the knife and get a little bit of color on this knife real quick. And I forgot earlier to make, to establish some kind of a little, little line back there. I just want to make it look like there, you know, something happening there. Maybe a little bit of, a little bit of water or something. A little line there and there. All right. Well, that was my little experimental painting. I hope you guys, I hope you guys, in, you know, enjoy these, enjoyed this. Um, I'm sorry about the two weeks. It was just a really rough time. It was really rough for me. So um, I'm going to be starting next week. I'm going to be doing, at the end of the week, I'm going to be making two new tutorials. They're going to be about one hour each. So uh, you know, yeah, look out for them. And I uh, hope you guys are doing great. I'll see you soon in the very next video. Take care. Have a great night.